On the 18th of June, 1989, the then president of the Swapo Party waited in Angola's capital, Luanda, and sent off the leadership under the stewardship of Hage Gengob and other heavyweights to prepare for elections. Sam Nuyoma handed over the party's flag to Gengob, a sign of confidence and readiness of the Swapo Party after spending years in exile fighting on political, diplomatic and military fronts. Well, I was sure that uh, he would have he has the capacity to fulfill the objectives of the, of the Swapo Party. The founding president returned on the 14th of September in 1989 as he recalls a spirit of no fear displayed by Swapo leaders who received him at the then Yechia Stradom airport. At my arrival to the airport, I was welcomed by Comrade Geigov and the late Comrade Nathanael Mahuriri, who was Swapo's internal acting president, and the late Comrade Hedrick Vettiboy, who was the vice president of Swapo. On that day, Comrade Geigov held higher the Swapo flag that I landed, that I handed it to him on the 18th of June 1989, as he embarked on the Zambian Airways DC-10 and rode to Windhoek. Nuyoma, following thorough briefings on the campaigns, went on to address a series of rallies and meetings, highlighting that despite distractions planned by the colonial authorities, Swapo Party stuck to its ultimate aim. Well, we, we, we decided that uh, in the Politburo, the Central Committee of Swapo, that we face the arrested illegal South African administration in the country, whatever the face may be. If they continue with the arrest, we had the, the capable army the People's Liberation Army and Namibia Swap was a military wing to effectively counteract them. Therefore, we were ready to take over, even by force. Mm -hmm. The aim and objective of the Swap Party was uh, to, to fight and liberate the, the, the territory of Namibia from the Orange River to the Kunene River, from the Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean to the Zambezi River. And then we succeeded. After winning the elections, Nuyoma appointed Gengob as the first prime minister in 1990 and 1995 respectively and celebrated him as an administrator of note. He excelled in all the tasks that the party and I had assigned to him as he was always straightforward to the point, and therefore a capable administrator in carrying out all those assignments. The founding president believes the ruling party is still on course for the second phase of the struggle, that of rigorous economic emancipation. Blanche Gores, NBC News, Ventuk.